what we're going to try and do is we're going to look at walking exercise, but we're going to open your minds to the fact that there is a preventative aspect to knowledge in this area. There's a diagnostic aspect to having greater knowledge in this area. And there's definitely a management aspect to having greater knowledge in this area. So no matter why you're here, there are three major categories that we hope to cover tonight. Happy with that, Drew? We've got quite a lot to do. Fine. Well, I'm going to switch it around. Having spoke to you before we went live, let's go diagnostic first. We'll bounce back. No, then we'll go to management. Then we'll bounce back to preventative because that will blow people's marbles. So to get you into the swing of things, talk to us about what you mean by looking at just walking the dog and how it can be a brilliant way to identify the early signs to get proactive diagnosis and management. Um, I'm going to uh, open this up with a uh, with a confession about a an obsessive compulsive behaviour that I have developed um, since working at this clinic, and that's watching people's dogs when I'm out. Um, I now have a a bruise on my left arm from where my wife hits me uh, when I'm at a traffic light because I'm watching a dog walking down the pavement, and he's going, "Why is he doing that?" And that's interesting, and that's. I wonder, look at the shape of that leg, or look at that dog's pacing, or that dog's walking, or that dog's skipping, or that dog's doing something. And and it becomes, when you start looking at it, it really becomes quite quite you know, interesting and, and almost compulsive that you're actually looking. Because I also see a lot of those people that are walking their dogs, and they're on their phone, or they're talking to somebody else, or they're looking around. And, and the last thing they're paying attention to is actually the dog at the end of the lead. Some of the dogs are trotting quite happily behind the owners. Some are, I don't know who's taking who for a walk. The dog's straining at the leash and this poor individual is getting dragged down the high street. But how those dogs are moving is actually, can tell you so, so much about, about well, many things about them. Um, and, and even just the speed at which they're going, the, the uh, let's see, see young dogs that are, that are straining to, to move forward and I see older dogs that are pottering behind and, and actually what makes me laugh is the one where the owner is right at the end of an extendy lead in front of the dog waiting for the dog to catch up because the dog's just pottering along and actually when you look at that dog is it is it pottering along because it's interested in all the smells or is it just it can't go any faster mm-hmm. and that's actually the, the owner's capacity for speed now has now outweighed